If you've been encountering kids singing in clothes baskets or dreaming about evil bathrooms lately, then it's time for you to learn the truth about the internet phenomenon known as Skibbity Toilet. Alexei Gerasimov of the country of Georgia is the man behind the YouTube channel The F*** Boom. In January 2023, he posted his first short video on YouTube, which consists of a man making a weird noise with his mouth as he encounters a bespectacled head in a urinal. Several shorts later, the same man is singing the Skibbity tune on a roof, from which he jumps as Dream On by Aerosmith plays. Then, in what is officially the first Skibbity Toilet release, he appears as a disembodied head in a urinal. This video has since amassed 166 million views and counting. Gerasimov has admitted that he never expected Skibbity Toilet to be a viral hit. He simply created the videos as a way to curb his own nightmares. As he explained to Forbes, the nightmares were connected to a December 2022 video of his that chronicles a man who is desperate to relieve himself during the night but gets trapped in a loop involving intruders and a hand shooting out of the toilet. After completing that video, Gerasimov was haunted in his sleep by heads coming out of toilets. One dream involving an urban toilet infestation helped him see that in order to stop the nightmares, he had to fight back. As he explained, it made me have a strange feeling of toilets being some kind of divine and unexplored entity. Thus, Skibbity Toilet was born. Really weird. <laughs> At first glance, it's easy to dismiss Skibbity Toilet as simple gross-out humor, but there's actually a rather deep and intricate storyline at play here. The singing toilet heads are invading the world, and it's up to an army of cameramen to fight this new foe. When the battle begins, the cameramen defeat the toilets rather easily by simply flushing their heads. But the toilets are numerous and expanding in numbers, as they even construct monuments and form worship sites. Each video ups the ante. Dozens of new characters have been introduced, including the impenetrable G toilet, and more heroes in the form of speaker men and TV men who make up the alliance, along with the cameramen. There are twists and turns along the way, including a particularly jaw-dropping moment in episode 32 when the massive titan speaker man is commandeered by the toilets. Despite the strength of the alliance, the toilet invaders are strategic and find new ways to enhance their strength. The war climaxes in episode 70 in a daring raid on the toilet base of operations that's full of dramatic character deaths and satisfying showdowns. In just one short year, Skibbity Toilet has transformed from a standalone potty joke into an entire series that has kept its viewers consistently coming back for more. New videos originally dropped daily when the series began, but now it's every two days to account for the overall increased quality. With an ever-expanding lore and over 70 installments thus far, there's no sign of Skibbity Toilet slowing down and fans are clearly on board with everything that's been offered to them, with the videos consistently racking up tens of millions of views. That's a lot of people. As the series has continued, viewers have praised Gerasimov for developing genuine characters and lore within a ridiculous premise. They've also become emotionally invested in the fate of the Alliance. In response to the moment in episode 32 when Titan Speaker Man gets hijacked by the toilets, one person commented, This is truly the most tragic loss in the war of the Skibbity Toilets and the Cameramen. Another added, This is honestly one of the saddest episodes, despite Speaker Man's strength. The lore might be impenetrable to outsiders, but fans have clearly kept up with the ever-expanding plot, and the series is only continuing to become grander in scale and scope. As Gerasimov has promised, the ending and the path leading to it are insane. No matter your overall feelings about Skibbity Toilet, it's hard to deny that the song featured throughout the series is pretty darn catchy. The tune is a remix of Bulgarian artist Bizer King's Dom Dom Yes Yes blended with Timbaland's Give It To Me. This actually isn't Bizer King's first time being associated with a viral meme. Before Skibbity Toilet, there was Yassine Changes, a social media personality who shakes his belly and two steps to the beat of Dom Dom Yes Yes. Bizer King is happy to see his music go viral. As he told Why Now in February 2023, the feeling of creating a world hit is unique. Feeling the love from many people all over the world and seeing hundreds of people all over the world having fun with my song is the most valuable thing to me. Later Skibbity Toilet videos feature the 80s new wave song Everybody Wants to Rule the World by Tears for Fears, although we've yet to hear Roland Orthable and Kurt Smith's thoughts about this hostile toilet takeover. 
is still relevant today. Yeah. Like many online animators, Gerasimov utilizes Source Filmmaker to create his skibbity toilet content. The free 3D software was released in 2012 by Valve, the company behind popular video games like the Team Fortress and Portal franchises. SFM allows users to incorporate characters from those games into their own creations. The program supplants more complicated animation processes since it uses pre-existing assets from video games. Skibbity Toilet isn't the first YouTube series to be created via SFM. Since its inception, the tool has been used in a variety of ways, from Valve's Team Fortress 2 promotional videos to the viral Shrek is Love, Shrek is Life meme. As for Gerasimov, he enjoys the easy-to-use interface. As he told Deserto, I know how to animate as well in Blender, but the whole process, including lighting and rendering, would take three times as long. If you're 13 or older, chances are you've never even heard of Skibbity Toilet until now. That's because the audience is largely composed of Generation Alpha. Clips have emerged on TikTok of kids embodying Skibbity Toilet by sticking their heads out of clothes baskets and Amazon boxes while singing the song. One boy even used the tune as a coping mechanism while getting a needle at the doctor. Some TikTokers have also made videos to parody the idea of Skibbity Toilet Syndrome, including a dramatic post that shows a child suffering from Skibbity addiction and demanding that he get the family iPad to watch Skibbity Toilet. But why are these youngsters so obsessed? Gerasimov thinks he understands, as he believes that it's unlike anything currently available on streaming or traditional TV. As he told Forbes, it doesn't feel generic or corporate. Some people might interpret videos of children in clothes baskets singing the Skibbity Toilet song as a case of kids just being kids. Others, however, are worried that they're suffering from what's been dubbed Skibbity Toilet Syndrome. There are two potential components to this supposed condition. Kids might be so obsessed with Skibbity Toilet that they're constantly watching it and singing the song and acting like the different characters and becoming irritable when told to stop. Or they might be cautious around toilets, as they fear that a singing head is about to really bop out. While pediatricians probably aren't going to be diagnosing kids with Skibbity Toilet Syndrome anytime soon, there apparently have been cases of some young viewers becoming genuinely freaked out by it and refusing to go near the bathroom. Parents have expressed frustration on Reddit about how Skibbity has thrown a wrench in the potty training process. One person with a four-year-old daughter claimed, The worst part is, she was completely potty trained and starts preschool in two weeks, so this is a huge setback. So while the kids might not be turning into toilet heads, that doesn't mean that they're completely all right. A bit of moral panic has formed around Skibbity Toilet, with many adults concerned that it's causing brain rot and could have lasting detrimental effects on their children. The series isn't exactly gory, but there are some rather violent war scenes, which parents understandably believe isn't the best thing for young kids to watch on a daily basis. One Malaysian parenting website called Motherhood has even offered instructions on how to restrict skibbity toilet content on YouTube. The moral panic has gotten so bad that in January 2024, Russian authorities began investigating skibbity toilet following a complaint by a Moscow parent whose son was obsessed with the series. A source told a Russian news site, an appeal was received from a resident of Moscow about the need to block video materials on the internet in the form of short films Skibbity Toilet, which has a detrimental effect on children. After the appeal, the police began an investigation and appointed an officer who will collect materials on the application. According to the National Institutes of Health, excessive screen use has been shown to cause negative effects like slow language development, sleep problems, and anxiety. However, there is no proof, at least not yet, that Skibbity Toilet in particular has any detrimental effects beyond the typical risks of excessive screen time. You might be surprised to learn that the word Skibbity isn't exactly new. In fact, it's been used for years in the singing style of scatting because, to put it simply, it essentially has no meaning. And now, thanks to Skibbity Toilet, the term is used conversationally by today's kids, much to the confusion of their parents and guardians. One teacher on TikTok attempted to make some sense of it by explaining, This word is just a filler word used in the most random, obscure times. Like, nothing will be happening, and a kid will just say, Skibbity Toilet, or Skibbity. However, language evolves, and this word is evolving as well, and the middle schoolers are seemingly trying to actually make it mean something. 
Are you Skibbity, Mr. Lindsay? It seems that Skibbity might be following a similar path as the slang word John, which is frequently used in the Philadelphia area to refer to literally anything. But for now, until a new concrete meaning evolves for Skibbity, it's just a fun word for kids to say. On the heels of Skibbity Toilet's viral success, other creators have tried to piggyback on the trend. One example is the YouTuber Dom Studio, who releases videos of the toilets taking on characters from the video game Garten of Banban. Dom Studio also has a Skibbity Toilet multiverse series that has garnered millions of views. Alexei Jerasimov's creation has also spawned the video games Skibbity Defense and Skibbity Tower Defense neither of which appears to be associated with Jerasimov himself. Meanwhile, on TikTok, a number of accounts are pretending to be the YouTuber. They post his videos and have extremely similar usernames, tricking fans into believing that they're the real deal. Jerasimov has attempted to have such stolen content removed, but he hasn't had much luck. As he told Desero, I tried to take them down, but TikTok support doesn't care. Even after all the proof I've given to them, they're unable to verify me. Older generations might be freaking out about all these singing toilet heads, but the phenomenon of young people latching on to a weird internet trend isn't exactly a new development. Since at least as far back as the launch of YouTube in 2005, creators have been releasing seemingly off-putting content that kids have become obsessed with. For example, there was Charlie the Unicorn, which featured the grumpy animated title character whose organs end up getting harvested when he agrees to go on an adventure to Candy Mountain. There was also Llamas with Hats, in which the character of Carl nonchalantly admits to stabbing a man and eating his hands. And let's not forget Salad Fingers, starring a horrifying cartoon character who loves rusty spoons. Other creepy internet trends include the likes of Slenderman, Siren Head, and stories from the Special Containment Procedures universe. At this point, it's become clear that every generation with access to the internet will have its own creepy obsession, delivering entertainment and laughter to the youths while parents and teachers freak out. Soon enough, Gen Alpha will surely look back at Skibbity Toilet with nostalgia while worrying about the nonsense that their own kids are watching over and over again.